hello color increase family hope you guys are doing well so this week's uh page is from uh, fragile world by kirby rosens and this is a very cute uh, sea lion page and uh i've been intending to do this for a very long time now initially i thought i would go with the night scene but then it didn't uh, work out in my head as well uh, as i thought it would come along and I didn't want to ruin this page so uh, here I am with the day scene uh, and I went with the uh, the colors which uh, was predominantly there in Google uh, some of them were totally gray and some of them were like uh, a rusty color or a darker brownish uh, family so I took into consideration all of the colors and i put in my own combinations for you guys so i've done the uh, initial part of the video with a little bit of uh, background and one sea lion in a real time mode so that if you guys want to color along with me and the rest of the video is in a faster pace but it will be in a mode that everyone can follow and see what i'm doing there and I've also tried a new medium uh, in this uh, uh, page, but not an uh, you know a larger amount because it was like uh, new to me, and I've tried them only twice. Uh, it's the Tombow Brush Dual uh, Tip Pens. I initially taught them to use it for the rocks and for the water. You guys will see it uh, when I use them and how did it work out. Uh, in the later part of the video so I'll catch you guys there
so here we are with the Tombow brush pens and I thought to use them uh, as a watercolor pen because they are water based ink and for some reason the ink did not uh, move as smoothly as I, were, as I thought it would be and uh, I think it is the paper basically because I earlier tried them uh, to color uh, a page from Color Age Wild and they worked as a dream in that page and I think it was because due to the paper quality there it was meant for watercolors and I think that is why it worked well there so it uh, it was a fail uh, when I tried to work them in this paper so I resorted back to my color pencils uh, as you guys will see in the later part uh, so I think uh, I would try them in a water based paper only uh, in the future but if you guys have tried them in any other books or in any other kind of paper please let me know in the comments so that I can try them as well if I can and yeah now uh, we'll go on with the uh, watercolors uh, and here I've tried to uh, come up with the bluish green water because that is my favorite shade of water so yeah and that is what uh, these color combo will give you guys but you can try them for a more greenish or a more bluish water as well and I've also uh, uh, come up with an idea to uh, give that uh, foamy uh, texture of the water when it comes and hits the shore and kind of a wavy uh, feel and this is a new technique I've tried and uh, this is the first time I'm doing it and I hope it will give you guys an idea you know to give that realistic uh, waves effect if you want to try
so for the uh, waves uh, that foamy effect i used this uh, sponge brush with i don't know what end to call them this is just a basic sponge brush which you get and all the craft store so i dabbed it in a little bit of white acrylic paint and and i made sure there was only a very little amount of paint because you need that texture of that sponge to come through so that it will give that you know bubble effect and the foamy effect to the waves and you just dab it at the end of the black line uh, where the water meets the shore and for the rest of the uh, waves hitting the rocks and i just dabbed all over the uh, area which i wanted it to be and uh, and also i gave a few dabs on the rock as well so that it will give that uh, a splattering effect uh, as the water hits the rocks so yeah uh, this is a new technique i came up with it just suddenly hit me when i was doing the page and hope it will help you guys you know uh, to give that realistic water effect and that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed watch watching this video and like share and comment if you like it guys i want you all to know that i will be doing a video every day for the whole month of december you know just as a fun thing and a little bit of uh, challenge for me uh and i've raised a poll in my community tab so if you haven't uh, seen it please go uh, see it and cast your votes for uh yes or no so the thing is I was going to do uh, an image every day that was uh, relating to Christmas. Uh, you know, uh, and this video is going to be a very small one, just a small image every day. Uh, and uh, as far as now, uh, I've received most of the odds for yes. But then I received a comment saying that uh, some of your, some of people. uh don't celebrate christmas and it would be offending for them and they might feel offensive if they happen to watch watch those videos so the uh choice which uh the comment shared was uh, to do a autumn or a winter season coloring and i thought um you know nobody should feel offensive or offended watching my videos and that would probably kill the uh, joy and the ultimate aim uh, i'm here for i want everybody to uh, you know enjoy the videos if they happen to watch any of my videos so yeah it's going it will most probably be a winter and uh, autumn uh, seasonal coloring images but i think you guys can relate those images to the festivals if you're celebrating them if you guys are not celebrating them you sit for your seasonal coloring images and this way it will be harmony for everybody and it will be fun for everyone who is watching the video and enjoy it so i hope you guys will like this decision and um, hopefully we get more votes so that i can do a video every day and hopefully you guys will watch it and enjoy it and yeah that is it for now and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video till then happy coloring bye